each other. <laughs> the secret's out. Uh, welcome, welcome to probably the most esteemed and best panel uh, that you're going to be. Yes, Reverend Rod Top, our second vice president of New Jersey Black Issues uh, Convention. I have no business with that. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be second this year. Maybe, maybe next year. Uh, uh, welcome to, uh, again, a, a most esteemed panel of experts in, in the fields. We have, uh, again, I think probably the best panel that you're going to uh, hear from uh, at this two two day convention. Uh, decriminalizing the black man, making progress by reframing and how to take some action. And as we know, Sometimes when people vote, they just vote for what's like on TV, the advertising. But we actually do the research on Governor Chris Christie and um, Bruno. You would um, you would see certain things that maybe someone that is voting would not like. The second thing is those that have not registered to vote and could vote, maybe like a mother or a guardian of yours, have them or encourage them to vote. Sometimes they think that they vote don't count, which really it does. And the life they probably saving by voting could be that youth that... when the awardees receive their awards. So we asking everyone all the way in the back and those who have not find a seat, their seats here in the front, Councilman Chris, Exist 
in our community. Um, and perhaps, board, we might need to think about adding the arts and culture since Maleficante told us on uh, the day before yesterday, we don't know enough about our art. We don't know enough about our culture. Perhaps that's something we should do. But let me get on with my task. My task is to um, present the first award and then to present our board members who will uh, present the others. In the category of health and human services, the awardee is the Beth Ensemble Wellness, an integrated approach to prevention and community operated by Barnabas Health System. This program, we can clap. Sandy recovery up front in the title is because billions of dollars are being made available in the state of New Jersey as a consequence of the devastation from the Sandy uh, storm, Super Sandy storm. The state of New Jersey um, has been administering. Let me get ready to do that this um, Has been uh, responsible. Department of Community Affairs is responsible for administering. Um, contracts, uh, emergency assistance early, and since then residential assistance, commercial, multifamily, um, and uh, from all the assessments that we, we get, uh, there was under um, a lack of participation on the part of communities of color in the emergency work. Um, survivors of people in the state of New Jersey, really relevant to uh, black issues. We have on our panel, Brother Michael McDuffie. Now, you can see that Michael and I look a lot alike. I was his former teacher. <laughs> <laughs> but I was really young. <laughs> I used to have a Jerry curl, right? <laughs> you see what it did for me. <laughs> you see what it did, right? <laughs> We have a sister, Reverend Kay, Kay uh, Banks. Kay Banks, amen. Reverend Darrell Armstrong. Now, Reverend, Reverend Darrell Armstrong is going to speak on violence in the community. Reverend Brooks is going to talk about uh, Reverend Banks. Poverty, poverty in the community, poverty issues. Uh, Reverend McDuffie will address issues of education. Now, we have two other people, panelists, on their way. Reverend Andre Coffey, who's going to talk about technology and the need to use technology as, a, as an instrument of community development. And Reverend George Blackwell will talk about end of life issues.
politicians and people automate the stuff so we can find out exactly what everybody is taking so that we can say, hey, dude, you don't need that no more. Hey, man, you don't need that no more. And we cut the bill down, and the big one is to be able to negotiate the pills like the VA does. Right. Cut off and and, and, yeah. and that'll take care of that number. A good, a good example is essentially the North Carolina Medicaid program, long-term care program. They